Hi guys, it's Wayne McMaster here. I have another video here for you today for our uh, Divi 4 uh, WordPress theme series showing you how to build a completely custom WordPress theme using the Divi uh, new Divi 4 theme builder. Now, uh, basically the first two videos we've already done, we've gone through, there's a playlist linked to in the description below. So you can go into that and uh, watch the previous videos if you haven't already. Otherwise, uh, if you want to keep watching, we're going to go through, we've built the header section here. We've also designed the uh, page itself. Like I said in the previous videos, this isn't the best looking design you'll ever see. It's pretty, it's got a few ugly spots, that's for sure. But um, it gives you an idea of what you can achieve just by playing around with it a bit. And um, we're going to actually add this footer area down here. So it's good, pretty, pretty straightforward. The standard footer allows you to have a few widgetized areas. Nothing fantastic. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to build that footer area with a widgetized area, but by also adding in a few custom areas as well. So that way you can really take control of your website and how it looks. So I'm going to tab back. You can see here we've done our global header, done our global body. And now all we need to do is use our footer. So we're going to simply click add global footer to build global footer. And we're going to start off with those widgetized areas because as I said before, they are only, they're in the standard customizer, but if you want to do more with your footer as well as have widgetized areas, you're going to want to know how to add those in there as well. So I'm going to build from scratch and we're going to have say four footer areas. Oh, we'll go three. So we've got three columns. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to add a sidebar module. Now this pops up automatically when you, when you start those columns. So if I click here, I'm actually where it says widget area, I can choose footer area one and tick that. Now to add that again, I'm going to click on this plus symbol, scroll down to sidebar, add it again with footer area two. If you go to your appearance and widgets menu, you'll see these areas here. You can add in pretty much whatever you want. So I'm going to tick that, go over here and add another one, which is footer area three. I'm going to tick that. So now we've got our, our footer area, nice and simple. The other thing too is uh, with the sidebar modules, there's a few funny things here. We get this border there. I'm going to go through and show you how to get rid of that all at once. But first of all, with that website, we don't really want to have a white footer. So I'm going to go into the full row section here. As you have stated in the other videos, you got your full row, the columns within that row, and the individual modules within those columns. But I want to make this darker. So I'm going to go up to the full width row here. Under background, I'm going to make the background say black, and I'm going to add a background image, something like this. So now you can see we have this nice widgetized area here with a nice background image, and we're pretty much good to go. So if I uh, save that right now, I'll exit this template editor, Save changes. I'm going to tab on back to the other screen. I'm going to refresh this page. Now if I scroll down the bottom, you see we have our footer there. So I can go into my uh, widgets area here and I can update these at any time quite easily. Like I said, this isn't the most attractive setup, but it's there. Now I think we are now missing that bottom bar. There's a few extra things we'd like to do. So <clears throat> what I can do is now expand upon that footer much more drastically. So I'm actually going to go back here, back into the global footer. I'm going to add in the bottom bar. Maybe I'll add a copyright message and some social media shares or something in there. So I'm going to click add a regular bar. I'm going to go maybe something like this. Get some, get a text module. Now I'm going to type in a quick copyright message here. So I'll hold in alt, go 0169, copyright symbol. Copy, uh, this website is protected by copyright. That'll do for now. Now what I'm going to do is make that background. So I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here, but this blue area here, I'm click on this cog. Bring up the background. 
add a background color such as black. Play with the padding. And we've already started, got a bit of a bottom bar there. So I'm going to add in here a new module, a social share module. So we'll go to, say, social media follow. <clears throat> we've already got Facebook and Twitter there. If I open this up, I can pop a link in there. Um, I can add more. I can add in Instagram. Move Instagram to the top if I want to. I can add in there's a whole bunch of things in here. There's YouTube. So I've got a few social shares down the bottom there too. Now these are off to the left, so maybe I want them to be on the right. So I'll go move them to the right. So we've got our social shares down the bottom, our little bottom bar, and our footer. Now what I want to do is actually add a bit more of a call to action just above this footer. So I'm going to add in another, I'm going to add a full width row. I'm going to go with a full width header. I'm going to say, uh, gain access to our premium course or something. I can type in a message here. So it's the best. Obviously, type is what you want in there. You can put images, the usual WordPress text editor stuff. Sign up. Add in a background image, maybe something like a uh, get this uh, cassette deck here, and I can make the layout centered. I can make it full screen so it's nice and big, and I'll just move that up above the footer. Now, full screen is a little bit huge, so I'm going to go back and turn that off. <laughs> so I won't make that full screen. But I will make the spacing somewhat decent. We'll say 200, 200. So maybe we have this there. Maybe, you know, you can add in any number of items if you want to. Like I said, circle counter, some code if you've got a form or something. Login image. There's so many options there. It's just, it's just crazy what you can do with this. I'm going to add, say, a full width image in here. So I'll go full width, full width image. Maybe we'll just add this red in there or something else. It's not, nothing too gargantuan. I'll stick with the red. Uh, so we've got, yeah, you can add, you can basically go in and add in as much or as little as you want to your footer. So it's the choices are yours, basically. If, if you've watched the other two videos or you've used the Divi Builder before, you can see just from the modules there, from using the row system, adding in your columns, adding your modules into those columns, you can basically create almost anything you want. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to save that. Now we're going to go back and have a look at our incredibly ugly Divi 4 design. Now, if you actually do take some time and uh, you've got a bit of, uh, bit of sense about it, you can create something that looks really good, obviously, because you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Now, it's uh, one of those things where if you have a good theme, it should prevent you from making something too ugly. But if you've got all the flexibility in the world, you want the you want the ability to be able to create something that's ugly because you want to be able to create anything. But you can see here now we've got our customized header, which is complete here with our subscribe button. We've got our custom blog uh, page layout. And now down the bottom, we've got our footers. So we can go through, we can put products in there if we want to. Um, if you've got WooCommerce stored, you can actually pop a product uh, in there. You can, you know, you've got our widgetized footer area. We've got a fully customized page. Now if I go to my about page, I've got the same thing again. Home. It's all there. Same with our blog posts. We've basically created a completely custom WordPress theme using Divi 4, and now we've just finished it off with the footer. Now obviously there's a bit more to it than um, just simply what I've shown you. I've tried to show you as quickly and easily what's cap what's possible with this theme. I would like to take a bit more time to show you if something's going to be a, a little bit more, uh, looks a bit better. So in the future, if you're looking to, to get a, a lot more information, I'm going to release a lot more smaller videos about how to achieve certain things with the Divi theme because there's only so much I can show on these videos without them going for hours and hours. But uh, please subscribe if you would like to see more. And of course, anything you'd like to see... Um, 
I can't do absolutely everything, but uh, I do know my way around these themes really well. So if you want to leave a comment with anything you'd like to see with the Divi theme, uh, that'd be cool. I can uh, get put that into the bank and make some more videos up, and uh, we can go from there. So if you do want to download this theme, like I said, I've created this nice, ugly website, completely customized. Uh, you can go to the, theme, the link that's on the screen right now. And that is an affiliate link, so if you do buy, I do make a commission. But I've been using this for my web design business. I've uh, built over 100 websites with it. But that was before the theme builder came in. Now that the theme builder is in, I've got so much more flexibility and life is so much easier getting the exact look that I want. I don't have to code in the CSS and all those little bits and pieces if I want to add something different, which I generally try not to do anyway. But uh, this theme is amazing now. It's just getting to the point where you don't need to know any code. You just need to know your way around. It's just like learning how to use Microsoft Word or Facebook or any sort of program. Once you learn where the buttons are and the things are, it's just really straightforward and easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Leave a comment if you have any ideas you'd like to see. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time and have an awesome day. We'll see you later.